Uh, my name is Courtney Fitzpatrick. Um, I'm the business owner for CSF Massage and Body Work. My story is a little different with my business. Um, I started my business actually in phase two, thinking we would hit phase three in about three weeks from there. So I timed it to where it would pretty much think and it would boom back mm -hmm. open. And that did not happen. I was, it was uh, kind of devastating. I had, just, uh, so I'm seeing probably about one client a week now. Um, so which is forcing me to stay at my company that I'm working for right now, corporate company. And so it's, it's just forced me to stay there and um, just kind of not part of that business plan I had. So it's, it's hard because a lot of clientele for my type of business is the weekends. So I can't offer weekends because I work weekends at my company. So it's like, do I quit? Completely live on my savings for X amount of months mm -hmm. or do I save my company and have a steady income ish mm -hmm. and Just keep paying my rent out of savings because yeah. even with my company they're busy But I'm losing 16 hours a week Because they have now new regulations mm -hmm. for us, which is 15 minutes in between each client Which is having me lose two clients a day and that is 16 hours per paycheck. I was making after taxes, 1400 which for me, single person, that was fine. Mm -hmm. I'm down to 700 every two weeks. That's including credit card tips. Mm -hmm. I'm huge pay loss. My saving grace was that I got unemployment and I saved every dime to pay rent five months in advance, pay bills in advance because I knew the dip was going to happen. Mm -hmm. So that was my only saving grace, which was allowed me to open my business with business expenses because of the unemployment, I put it back into the economy. I put it back to get, plan my whole business and it just did not pan out the way I wanted it to. So now I'm like, I'm, I'm actually very scared that I opened, I may have to close. With massage therapy and why I do massage therapy is I help a lot of people with mental illnesses, um, physical disabilities. And with that, I have also told my story to clients of domestic violence and told when I was in Raleigh, my story of seven days with just my cap, just seven days, that's it. And so with massage therapy, it allows me to tell my story and for them to tell their story. When you take away massage shutdown, you shut down someone's outlet, only outlet they have that's a safe four room wall with me you take away their safe place. So my message, kind of what I said over there is, is where are you looking at numbers for domestic violence? Are you looking at numbers for elder abuse? Are you looking at numbers for sexual abuse? The hotline numbers skyrocketed two weeks after the shutdown, the whole stay at home, shot up. And I can't fathom what it is right now for women and men and children still in phase two with some places still shut down.